Depending on the functional requirements, you may want to create a number of roles in your application. And then using these roles, we can decide whether a user should have access to a screen or not. Let's see how. So once again, we are looking at my service studio where I have a reactive web application. It consists of two screens, leaves listing and leaves detail. In my scenario, perhaps I want to control that not everybody should have access to leave detail, which is in the way means that people should not be able to come here and modify this. Now in this, in a way, I want to create a role. So for that, I have to shift to the logic tab. This is where under right towards the bottom, you see a section called roles. And here we can create roles. For example, let this be a manager role. Now, depending on the role, if a person is a manager, I want them to be able to access this page, otherwise not. So for that, we'll switch back to the interface tab, select the screens. So for the leaves listing page, I think everybody is allowed. If you pay attention to this part where we are seeing the properties of the screen, uh, here is a section where now we can see our newly created role for manager, it's selected. Registered means that anybody who's logged in uh, using his username and password is able to see the screen and uh, Anonymous means in case we want to remove the access completely. So anybody without even login can access this page So in my case to protect the leave detail page What I will do is remove the access to register user Which means now that only the manager only people in manager role would be able to access this uh, page Let's go ahead and publish it So it's done. We can launch the application to see how it looks. So I've already logged in with a user called John Smith. Uh, with this, I'm able to browse the leave listing page. And if I go ahead and click on any of these links, which brings me to the leave detail page, I should see an error. And that's right. So I don't have access to view this page for leave detail. And you know why? Because we have created a specific role and we want people to be in this role to be able to browse the leave details. Now, how do we add John into the manager role? So for that, a few steps. Uh, we have to access the users module. Uh, there's a shortcut to access it. We can click on the settings icon that brings us to the service center. Here we can see the modules and versions and all. And in case you want to access the users modules directly, just you have to remove uh, the service center information in there in the URL and replace it by users. This is the user management. You will have to log in properly with the user admin account. You will see that John Smith user is here. What we need to do is give him or put him into the role manager. So if we just come here and search for manager, we can see that this was the group. Uh, the name of the application is right just next to it in a bracket here. So it denotes that this is from this application because you may have multiple roles by the same name in different application. So to put John uh, in this role, we just have to click on add thereafter and now he has permission. To test it out, we'll again go back to our page. We'll give it a refresh. So as previously, we are still able to browse the leave listing page. And now if we click on the uh, link here, we are also able to browse the leave details page. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.